The Maghreb, a vast region stretching from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Ghats of Egypt in the east. In the Middle East, the Maghreb was also known as the land of the setting sun and the ends of the world. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. From heaven he will thunder against them. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. This region of North Africa was home to the renowned church fathers, Tertullian, Cyprian, and Augustine. Since the 7th century, the church in this land has been under heavy persecution until the word of a prophet came forth. For he looks to the ends of the earth and sees under the whole heavens. So something springs up around Mauritania, then it is similar to the Arab Spring. A kingdom bleeds in the Maghreb a storm of sorts that is engineered by the evil one and we frustrate the plan of the enemy and we declare that the hand of God over that land is to preserve and to protect lives and to elevate the church of God. Important to note is that the prophecy highlights that these things would happen in the Maghreb near Mauritania. Amazing how the eye of the prophet dropped the telling clue for these things unfolded just north of Mauritania. Tens of thousands of protesters across Algeria have demanded their 82-year-old president steps down immediately. In the biggest protest in years in the capital Algiers, people chanted bye-bye Bouteflika. Their anger was triggered after their ailing leader said he'd stand for a fifth term in power. It's the moment millions of Algerians had been demanding. In a rare public appearance, a frail-looking Abdelaziz Bouteflika handed over his resignation letter to the head of the Constitutional Council, ending his 20-year rule as president of Algeria. News of the resignation turned weeks of protests into celebrations. it is similar to the Arab Spring. The prophet refers to this as another Arab Spring, a name that is picked up by the international media. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth and the wicked be shaken out of it. A storm of sorts that is engineered by the evil one. This unfolds as the terrorist group Al-Qaeda tries to take advantage of the protests to attack and harm the body of Christ in Algeria. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and one sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. And we frustrate the plan of the enemy and we declare that the hand of God over that land is to preserve and to protect lives and to elevate the church of God. By the covering of heaven's oracle, the enemy was stopped from pushing these protests into bloodshed, thus preserving and protecting thousands of lives and the body of Christ. By awesome deeds and righteousness, you will answer us, O God of our salvation. You are the confidence of the ends of the earth and of the far off seas. The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. By the word of a prophet, a nation at the end of the world is protected from evil. How will you respond? By the breath of this prophet, the revival of the body of Christ is preserved and promoted. What 
will you do with this anointing?